Okay, this is back for the second video and putting together this FTC robot. So we'll finish the frame up real fast here. Uh, there was another one of these pieces that I didn't put on yet. And then um, there was a base plate. There we go. Two of these guys that need to go on. So again, we're going to use the constraints we know. We're going to use insert to insert this guy. Um, did the wrong one there. So insert. There we go. I had to select the right. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll go ahead and finish it with another insert. Done. Okay, so that piece is where we want it. Now we're going to put these in. That's going to be right there and here. And then for this one, it's going to be here and here. OK. So now those pieces are pretty much in place. All we need to do is one more constraint on them. Oops, let's go back to our view. Uh, to finish them off, we're just going to use a flush. And voila. OK, so there's the rest of our frame finished. Now we get to attach everything to it. So the first thing we're going to attach are the motors, because they're kind of important. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and find them somewhere in here. <laughs> OK. Motor cradle and our motor. Open those up. So we're going to put two sets of these down. And now we're going to place the pieces. So we're going to go through here and select that edge here and this right here. Apply that. Now another way to deal with circles instead of using um, instead of using the insert, we can also use mate and look at the uh, that piece right there. So um, this is kind of a guess as to where it is. I think it's this hole that it's going with. So we'll just try it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. OK, so that didn't work. So um, there's two ways that we could do this. We could move it around and see, oh, it's actually this one over here. Um, but another way to do it would be to just use the angle thing that we did earlier. So here we can select this side and this side hit apply okay so now it's set it's not going to move uh, now we'll put the other one in as well boom boom apply and then we know where it is so I'm just going to use this okay so now those are in but we have to put our motors in now, and those are kind of weird. So let's do this. We'll put this in right here with the mate. OK. That is the wrong way. So let's undo that. Um, instead, let's use this here. Um, so if we use aligned instead of opposed, it'll put these two in the same direction. OK, so now this is stuck in here. Uh, we'll probably move it, and so we'll just have to adjust that when we need to. Uh, but we're going to put this one in too. OK, so now we have our motors in. We want to put in our gears so we can see how they're going to fit. So we're going to open up some gears. And you can open up previous assemblies to make your pieces a little bit easier. Uh, so we could already have a medium gear fit onto a motor clamp for this, but I don't have one right now. So we're going to just do this. We'll put two sets of these down. Now 
for these and it's pretty simple you're just gonna use opposed a lot and then again mate uh, so you can put those in the right spot now you will be attaching screws to this in real life but um, screws are kind of cumbersome to add into the robot all the time so there's not really a need to for this if we really wanted to we could um, but we're not going to do it right now um, now if you're going to use the the assemblies as multiple of, if you already had this like built this piece uh, attached to each other you might as well have already put in screws so that you can see how it's going to work but we don't need that uh, so we're just again going to strain these and this is all the same stuff we've already done okay and then we'll place in some pre-made assemblies so I'll show you how to build one of these a little bit later I mean and attach them you really just build an assembly save it and then you can come and get it later um, so here we're gonna use a, a wheel a large wheel set on a medium gear so I believe this is the one I want and we'll place these down okay so already finished okay this piece is already constrained already has all little pieces on it we can just attach it and voila. Uh, so I think I know where this tire goes, but I'm not sure. I'm going to look here. Okay. So this piece goes right here. I just inserted that. And then this piece goes in right here. Okay, so there's our tires but we want our gears to line up with our tire uh, with our gear here so right now you can see this isn't far enough out so let's go in and edit one of these constraints so we're going to click on the motor go down to the insert uh, onto the motor so that's the first one that we did right uh, so we're going to edit this down here you can see the little numbers so we're going to just put in like you know point 0.1 or something try that Okay, that moved it the wrong direction, so we put a negative 0.1. That's the right direction, not far enough, so we just increase the number. I'm just hitting enter after I put in the value. That looks pretty close, so we'll do like 0.25, and there we go. Okay, so now we know that's negative 0.25, so we can edit this side pretty easily. It's either going to be positive or negative 0.25. and it's negative 0.25 again. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Uh, that's how you edit constraints if they're already on. So next what we want to do is we want to line up the gears so that they actually touch each other. Well here's a little tricky. We can't see the gear. So what are we going to do? Well, you can go into this assembly and hide the tire. So here we're in this assembly so we're going to double click and that's going to open now I can edit this assembly piece uh, this individual little assembly we made so I'm going to just click on the tire the wheel and right click and go to visibility hit OK now it's invisible it's still there it's just invisible so we'll have to let it so we're going to finish this edit okay so now we want to line up this Okay, so line up the teeth. So they're lined up now. Uh, now the easiest way to deal with this is to ground the motor after you finish this. Normally, when you screw down the, the motor cradle, it'll tighten the motor anyways, but we can't really constrain it that way here, so we're just going to help get and ground it. And so now this won't move around, but it'll spin. Oh, right with this one. Um, now we also want to add an emotion constraint. So this is something I haven't done before um, on the video. So for the motion, they're going to be reverse motions, right? Because one goes one way, the other goes the other way. They're not going the same direction. So we click on this one, and then we click on this one. 
Okay, so they're at a ratio of one. If you had a large gear and a small gear, it would be a much different ratio, but for this it's just a ratio of one to one. So we're gonna apply this. Okay, so now when you spin this, the other one spins like it's supposed to at a one to one ratio. So now we're done with this. So we want to go ahead and make our tire visible again. So we're gonna double click on this assembly, go over to the wheel, and click visibility. Boom, there's our tire back, and we can finish the edit. Okay, and you're just gonna have to do the same thing to the other side. I'll go ahead and do that since there's no point in repeating it. Um, but, yeah, so that'll be it for this portion. And then I'll do the last portion, I'll add the last pieces in.